Find out what's hot and what's not. We watch your programme every week. Ibiza has become something of a mecca. Thousands of people come to taste the Balearic vibe of the islands. And with clubbing being the main attraction, this year's club land encampment has become bigger than ever. Ten years ago, this tiny Mediterranean island, which is only 25 miles wide, had a population of around 50,000 and only two petrol stations. Now, by the end of the season, the population swells to over one million. An island which undoubtedly has the most beautiful clubs sets the hedonistic tone that attracts top DJs and acts. We're here to experience the holy grail of clubbing. The summer's here and it's kicking off in a big way. And don't you just love it? This is Alison Limerick, and you're watching Club Vision. Orange. Hello. Hello. We're in San Antonio. What is there to do in San Antonio at night? Mondays, you've got a um, thing called UFO at its Paradise. That's as nice, yeah, it's Summons. They're doing Tuesday nights. They've got all the guys who do Garage City, Dream Team, Spoonie, Booker T, Mr. Whatever, you know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> 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 Mr. Whatever. All well, these weird names, and uh, I swear they take them off of bubblegum rappers. <laughs> Wednesdays, you've got us. We're doing quite well. Can't blow your own trumpet. Thursdays. Um, you get her anyway. <laughs> yeah. First day he's, uh, he's Cream, basically out of town, so he's nothing on at the moment on a Thursday to compete with Cream. A beef of town is basically more cosmopolitan uh, side of the island. You've got your, your um, Italians, your Germans, your Swedes. They seem to hang out there, seems to be the more cool place. Mainly they just hang around him like Pasha, and I suppose a few of them will totter off down to a uh, privilege on a Monday. What about El Davino? So how's that doing? You've got two um, Birmingham promoters, which I don't think they're competing against each other because Money Penny's is quite strong out here. And Decadence is on a Wednesday at home, and it's not really known nationally, but I think yeah. they're doing okay. And you've also got um, submission as well. Okay, so your night's Wednesday, what do you do after? What time does it finish? Uh, we finish at 7 o'clock, and basically it's all back to Villa from our party. So that goes on every week, and normally finishes about Friday morning, so... Friday morning? <laughs> well, it's Thursday morning, Friday morning, you've got to have 24 hours. It's not going to be a party unless it goes on for a matter of time. <laughs> At the foothills of Benamusa is the home to the debauched Sundance events. The crowd is slightly younger, but it's banging, it's balmy, it's wild, and there's 4,000 of them giving it some. Slip Matt in the mix, we've got him here while he's playing. How are you? I'm all right. How's Sundance? How are the people taking you? It's wicked. I mean, just take a look for yourself. Everyone's enjoying themselves. It's a really good party. Are you still playing your hardcore? Yeah, no, I'm still, still doing the happy hardcore stuff and that, but just sort of. I find a bit of house as well at the moment, I love it. I so what do you think of Ibiza? Ibiza is just too much really. I do love it, yeah, but it's too much. But it's wicked. How, how long could you stay out here for? Um, long as I've stayed out here, it's five days, I think. <laughs> and, and even that was too long. It's really? just, like, just party every night. To be fair to you, actually, out of everyone, all the DJs, at least you've called every time. Have you had any sleep? I've slept for about four or five days, I don't think. Uh, it's, just, it's just the way it is in our beef, really. But if I can help you, I don't want nobody, baby. Girl, it's got to be you. I need the real thing. We've got John here, the man behind Sundance. Tell us about it. We started back in 1995. Uh, anybody that was back here in 87 will probably remember Ibiza for that sort of open air vibe, you know, it used to be around here. Unfortunately, laws made everybody close up the discotheques, but one way or another, we've managed to find a way back round it. I was going to say, this is the only open air venue, oh, isn't it? Definitely, definitely only one. Don't ask me how we got a license for it, but we did. I mean, we started at six o'clock this afternoon. People have been here since then. They've loved it. It's been something different. Nice little foot tap and bit of swing, you know, and all that to start off with. 
and we've just lifted up and lifted up and they're going to take them to a top high, you know, by 12 o'clock. Okay, so how often is it? Every two weeks. So what kind of DJs you get here? Is it all from the UK? So we're, like, we're keeping it quite international. I've got Sash upstairs, Steve Silk Hurley in here a couple of weeks ago. There's Brandon Block, there's Graham Gold, there's Roy the Roach, there's Dave Valentine. And what, what happened to Graham Gold the other week? Graham Gold went flat on his back. They always say he's a golden oldie man, but bless his heart, mate, you know. He tried to keep up with us, but I mean, about half past four, and of all places, he fell on his back in the box, man, you know, but... Some, de some delightful geezer picked him back up. He was all right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how long does it take to sort of promote an event like this? We run about four events a week in Ibiza. It's a quite an unsaid thing just now. Um, we're doing another night in Esparadis UFO. Uh, we're doing some of them as well. And we're doing some United Dance events also, you know. But you'll see very shortly, we're actually starting up clubbing holidays next year. Sundance holidays are going to be live and direct in Ibiza on the internet, on interactive TV. So how long have you been on the island? <laughs> yeah, look, tell my wrinkles, man, you know. Yeah, I've been here nearly 11 years now, you know. So what brought you to Ibiza, first of all? Curiosity more than anything else, you know. Is Ibiza the place that's having it? The, it's definitely having it. Alison Limerick, how are you? I'm oh, really well. We're sort of backstage at the Sundance event. Everyone was rocking to it out there. How many times have you been to Ibiza? You, is this a new experience for you? No, I've been once before. Um, and that was an experience. That was a four o'clock in the morning extravaganza um yeah was so you singing when you come last time yeah yeah it was yeah but it was where love lives it was yeah <laughs> so tell us about the new single new single it's called let's hold on to love and we've been waiting a long time for a new single from you what have you been doing then yeah. well i've been spending really two years finishing the album getting it right getting all the songs right getting all the production right um and what's it called the album is called spirit rising and that's out at the beginning of september Clubbing <laughs> and drink. We're well up for it tonight. They've got a lot of good DJs here. We've got like Sasha here tonight, um, Alison Limerick, Brandon Block, you name it, we've got them up here. I thought Brandon weren't coming. No, Bra no Brandon ain't here, mate. Brandon's <laughs> not here, you know what I'm saying? Just here for the women and the booze and the, and the clubs and this, because it's amazing. It's the atmosphere, really. Everyone's just out to have a good time, you know, yeah. dancing. So many people here Alcohol. as well. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to stand out. So where'd you pay these two up from then? Just behind you, so to say, all jolly good friends. So what do you think of Sundance? Oh, it's pretty good. It's actually, there's a really good atmosphere around, so it's really exciting. They love it. Yeah. They love it. Do you love it? I love it. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, two weeks nearly. We go back on Sunday morning. Well, you haven't caught a tan, have you? No, it's awful. <laughs> You've been clubbing it, haven't you? Yeah. It's just like, oh, definitely colour hair dyes. Do you like it? It's brilliant, yeah. What about men then? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm 18. 17. We're buying drinks for the women, you're just sort of like there and stand by, just in case. Where'd you come from back home? Uh, Scotland, Falkirk. Is it good? Do you like Sundance? Yeah, it's bang on, it's like everything here is just there. So what DJs have you come here to see? Sash. I've been Magaluf, you know, and I've been... Uh, Shagaloof. <laughs> Shagaloof. <laughs> and I've been Benidorm, yeah, but at the end of the day, right, our beef is number one. Numero uno. So what time have you been getting up? <laughs> oh, about half two. It's got to be done. You don't come to Ibiza to sleep, you come to Ibiza to dance. Latest we've been out was one o'clock, we just go to chaos, uh, go to the phone party so that we'd last all night till six. So what brings you back to Ibiza every year? Trendiest island in the mud. We went to SPRD last night. Yeah. And, and what was that like? Amazing. Good laugh. Been to Ecstasis and Esparadis and Chaos. Been to some M, been to Esparadis, Chaos. Didn't make it to my new mission, I wasn't well. Wasn't you? Yeah. A beat of flu. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here two and a half weeks. I've, had, I've lived on an hour sleep a night. We've got the flyers for some mum, this one here. And we're going there. Where the lady in red, there's a lady in red. And she likes to give good head. And she likes to give good head. Would you come back to here? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, definitely. You two just met then, have you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're same really? Hotel. Same I keep her up all night. We're rinsing it in Ibiza with the Sundance Massive. Well done. <laughs> hey. Oh, take two. <laughs> Sundance tonight, what's it been like? It's been great. This is probably one of the best gigs that we've done for a long time now, isn't it? When you say, right? Yeah, it's building up. <clears throat> when we first started doing this, everyone's knocking us because they're saying, you know, you can't get involved with 18 to 30s and all the rest of it, you know, it's not trendy. 
<laughs> so what did you think of it? I love this gig. We've been doing it like five years. It's so been great, it's anyway. always happening. The crowd are always more than up for it. They can't leave till 12 because the coaches don't come, so we don't leave really. <laughs> How long have you been here? Um, what day is it? <laughs> Can you do a magic trick for us? Can I do a magic trick? No, I need long sleeves. I need long sleeves. Somewhere. Is the magic still here? Let me get a bit historical here. <laughs> My beef has been around long before me, you, and Roy was even born. The Pirates used to come here and say, right, we've pitched and have a right Let's good time. Let's get right at it, you know, a beefer. <laughs> Let's go and have a right good time. And that's what they've done. It's, you, it, I, before they, me, they it was didn't even have born. no decks, though. The Did Pirates? They? No, no, the Pirates. Ain't the you thought that was your car then, didn't you? Oh, I thought it was a French twat. <laughs> that was a French car, wasn't it? Yeah. You can tell. So, so take us through a night of you out in Ibiza, because I know that you get up to some quite mischievous things. It actually things. starts in the day. OK, it, it, this is what happens. It always starts in the day. What's on the arrival? About 11 o'clock last night. This is last night. I arrived 11 o'clock last night. Um, went back to the hotel. Chopped off my belongings. Nipped down to his paradise. Had a little dance on a boogie. Showed him he was the governor. And then, uh. Nipped to, to a Mambo bar. I shouldn't really say about this. A little. Tets on our tets. With the manager. Mambo, you mean that? Just... You don't do all that. You don't do all that, do you? Tets on our tets. I took a chat. I nipped to Privilege, which I know is Coo. It used to be called Coo. Years and years ago, when I first came, it was called Coo. So I find it really hard to call Privilege. Nipped down there, and it was. Oh, he's cracking. Loads of, loads of trannies with their nuts out. <laughs> loads of girls with their boobies out. <laughs> when I first came here, I actually made my name DJ in Summon, the club Summon. I put on a night in Summon. We called it Iberia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, did it take off, though? And, uh... Yeah, yeah, did it take off? <laughs> There's 304 of them all running around the room like that. Ah. Ah. Oh, is it Sash R? The real name is Sasha, yeah. I heard about last night Rough Drive. They got you very drunk, didn't they? Um, yeah, they were bad, the bad influence to me. So what do you think of the vibe in Ibiza? Do you, do you like the clubs? It's great. I mean, the people come here for holiday and have party, and it's so easy, and uh, everyone is just up for party and having fun. What does the future hold for you? More hits. <laughs> Kane and you're watching Club of Vision on ITV. We're here in San Antonio at the Savannah Bar and you really haven't experienced to be that unless you sat on those rocks and witnessed the legendary sunset. And just down there a little bit you've got the original Cafe Del Mar where you can hear the sounds of longtime resident Jose. A little bit further on you've got Mambo's and just around the bay you have Bar M. <laughs> Miguel, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. He's the manager here at Mambo's. Describe to the people back at home the atmosphere down here at Mambo's. Well, uh, what we try with Mambo is then the people came down to Ibiza, really, really enjoy the holiday and uh, see the other, the other side from Ibiza, especially from San Antonio, because we have a very, very nice sunset. And, and you're open all the time as well in the day and everything, aren't yeah, you? This is like a church. 24 hours open. No, we You're open. not here 24 hours, are you? Well, I'm coming. You must come. No. We open from 11 until 4. What's the difference between, like, say, um, Savannah and Café Del Mar to Mambo's? Well, I think uh, both, everyone, we are in the same area, but everyone has different personality, no? Café Del Mar, of course, he was the first one, but I think we did something different and we try to give to the people what they want, you know, if young people, then we like to look after them. For me, honestly, for me, for my staff, for the owner from Javier, yeah. the important is the customer. If people can actually come here and get flyers to what's happening and get some money off. Yeah, also what we have, we have like a, 
a team, two girls, they sold in the, the tickets in, in Mambo. Normally in, the, in all the clubs in Ibiza, it's two doors for getting in. Right. One is the people have the tickets and another one is one the the, run. don't have the ticket. Then the people buy the ticket before they go to the club. They don't have to wait for the queue. Tell me about the new album that's out. Does it sum up the whole Mambo sound? The music from this album is nothing, nothing compared with the other one, you know. Something is mellow, um, deep house and drum and bass. Tall Paul, hello! So where are you playing this holiday then? I'm going to be playing uh, Manumission a few more times. And we've got some gallery parties organised with the, the, the Clockwork Boys. Have you? Oh my god! My, my brother's going to be coming out next week for it, so uh, watch out Ibiza. It's his first time here. Oh, he's an Ibiza virgin, eh? What about beaches? Here and there. I went to Salinas Beach today. Did you? I was there, there today. Yeah. So everyone's a lot of nudity going on. I oh, know. Did you? Did you I get your cacks off? No, I don't want to scare everyone off too early. I've got to get a bit of a tan first before I sort of go kit out. <laughs> All right, it's been about 10 years of Acid House now right. in Ibiza. Talk to me about it. You've been here for six of them, so how's it changed? As far as I'm concerned, you know, people are coming out here for a really good time. All the clubs are catering from, there's a lot, of, a lot of promoters that are working really hard and they're putting on some good nights, you know. Some, some people take the mick a bit with the bar prices and some, and some of the, the charges to get in. Commercialism maybe, but you know, that's, that's the way it is. Is it true, Paul, that you're staying at the Manumission Motel? It's different, it's not your average sort of Hilton. <laughs> Um, it, it's very unique. Got, a, got the water beds. You got a water bed. Water bed, yeah. Who are you sharing the room with? <laughs> On my own. Just swimming around all night in the bed, having mad dreams about sailing and <laughs> being on the Titanic and stuff. Yeah, it's a crazy, crazy place. There's strippers all over the place. And people going crazy. It's, uh, it's sounds a bit like a brothel. <laughs> I think it used to be actually. Have you experienced a little dwarf with the skeleton key coming no, in yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do if he starts coming in. Dwarf, stay out of my room, by the way, right? Keep us strong, moving on. Makes me feel so real. Makes me feel so real. Good lie. Good lie. <laughs> Good lie. Good lie. Good lie. So hello. Hello. Down here is really good at night, sort of Savannah, Mambo, Cafe Del Mar, then one of the big clubs at night. The West End's really good, but you get all the lagger lights. Pasha's the best, they have amnesia, privilege. Really? They really spend the money on decor and it's really beautiful and very sophisticated in there. Space is the best place this year by miles. Went there yesterday, there was uh, two German people playing, it was being beamed live back to Germany and it was rocking. I'm going to Money Mission, I think. Man on a mission. <laughs> money pennies tomorrow. Yeah, about 25 quid, isn't it? I don't know. All the big clubs are really expensive to drink in. It's sort of like a thousand pesetas for a bottle of water. Some of them are like 1,500, but I mean, you expect to pay that though. Most people like, are drunk before they go anyways. What are we doing later? Amnesia. Amnesia? No, we're not, we're going to bed. We're going to bed. We, we like to talk big as if we're going to a club, but we're going to bed. Yeah, we're coming down to Mambo's. We might go to the West End for a laugh. For a laugh? Yeah, take the piss out of everybody. <laughs> Down, don't Too go nice. near the West End, it's absolutely horrendous. They've been renamed Vomit City. Money's no object. No, not for these nights, so you've got to pay it. It's worth it, it's worth it. I've lost my scooter, that's what I'm here looking for. So what other good nights are on the islands at the moment? Ministry, Manumission. Abiza, Abiza. Space, we were there the other day, that was wicked. We were there to about four in the afternoon. You pay the money, you go, you have a great time. You don't remember it. Is it your first time in Abiza? No. It's a classic, Paul. How are you doing? We usually sit right outside there with the drink of sangria and get absolutely bollocks. You up all night then? Yeah, up all night and up all day as well. <laughs> We're going to bed now, bye. I'm the manager of this bar. Our main job is like we do the pre parties for like Cream, Renaissance, Ministry, and like Manny Mission, obviously, on Mondays, which is like the big one. So, what's your favourite club then? Where'd you go? I like Amnesia. In between those clubbing nights and probably nursing a major come down, get yourselves down the beach, bronze the body, and relax. And we're here at San Antonio Bay, and this is one of the places that you can catch boats out to some of the most beautiful beaches like Calabasa and Calaconta. Island, the Ibiza town side, we have Cecilinas, an amazing one kilometre stretch of beautiful white sand.
Coming up after the break, we have more from the Balearic Isle and the DJ Magazine dance chart. So stay with us. Hello and welcome back. Whether it's sun, sand, flirting, clubs or the bars, there's something in the air that takes you for a trip on the wild side. But stay with us because that's coming up after the DJ Magazine dance chart. Number 10 is Mal Fitcher, Lewis Linus, Piazza NT. Number 9 is Adamski and Gerardo, one of the people. Number eight is Barbara Tucker. Everybody dance the horn song. Number seven, Boris de Lugosh and Horny. Number six is David Morales and the face needing you. Number five is Soul Grubber. Soul Grubber, part three. In numero cuatro en el piso, yeah? Stardust, the music sounds so better with you. Number three, Seven Fisher, the three weeks come out. Number two is Michael Lang, brothers and sisters. Numero uno, we have Bob Sinclair with Jim Tonic. Club Vision, you know it makes sense. On the north side of the island, every Wednesday, there is the bigger of the two hippie markets here in Escanar. Around 1975, the hippies first came to the islands, bringing their way of life and freedom of expression. I'm Alex Gold and you're watching the Club of Vision Ibiza special. Look at that fantastic sunset. We have Danny Ramplin here. Where is your favourite club on the island? Is it Pasha? It is Pasha, yeah. Pasha and um, El Divino. I like that a lot. There's, uh, there's good nightlife here and um, it's a great place for, for young people to be, that's for sure. It's very influenced by the UK. Um, it's the UK transported to Spain, <laughs> really, isn't it? What's happening with you back home then? So I have a single coming out shortly it's called community of the spirit it's a full vocal song and it sounds fab danny what is the ibiza floor filler this year uh el nino i don't play it that often and um it was hugely appreciated it created a lot of noise are you quite a passionate person then as well <laughs> <laughs> you had to do a bit more research Alex Gold, one of the first DJs to come to Ibiza. You must know some history about Ibiza. Tell us. Well, I think uh, the, the name Ibiza, I believe, is derived from um, uh, a goddess. The wildest parties were actually here on the island when the Franco regime ruled Spain uh, back in the 70s, um, where this was a loose, free and easy place where everybody came to escape the regime. I first came with uh, some promoters in the late 80s, about 87 time and uh, enjoyed it immensely and then of course you know came back year after year after year the old busman's holiday you know uh, DJing and also enjoying the island and discovering a little bit more. How did the Ibiza DJs influence you? Oh massively I mean you know people like uh, Pippi and uh, Alfredo and uh, Caesar at Coup and yeah. El uh, Amnesia in the early days covered the whole spectrum of music you know which is really what the whole thing's about it's not about specialist you know trance or garage or anything it's about covering all aspects of, of the musical scene. What is the tune from the Ibiza archive that um, sums the whole spirit of Ibiza up? It would have to be Heaven or Hell by Lupo. Yeah, um, That was in 1990. Uh, closely followed by Offshore Chicane for me, really. You know, in, in more modern day terms. But last year you had the Authentico Ibiza album and a lot of people talk about the Authentico slogan. Talk to us about it. The whole idea of Authentico Ibiza is to give people a taste of the authentic side of the island and that you know goes across the whole spectrum of music you know from sort of garagey through to you know trance and, and and good quality house music basically delivered in a style as was delivered in the old days what's your favorite club out here to play in i think now it has to be pasha uh, why uh, it's just so sexy it's cosmopolitan it's beautiful you know uh with there with danny rampling for the extravaganza club vision party mm. um and renaissance and renaissance of course i'm a great fan of the the latin lifestyle and extravaganza you know is is about that the, the magic of the night you know the, yeah. the latino way of thinking but talking about extravaganza we've got, you've got chicane you've got agnelia nelson what other artists have you got on the label we have black connection which is uh, right. an italian uh, outfit and they you know concentrate mainly on the disco garagey groove style which is perfect for passion you know that that kind of sound yeah. um, and uh, we also have Airscape as well which is a Belgian duo all the music that we make is basically derived around that extreme party feeling Strong in love. And 
Street, the town, is the capital of this hedonistic island, which leads a double life. By day, a quiet, tranquil place. And when the sun goes down, the cosmopolitan clubbing capital of the world comes Jason here, the manager of the Vogue Bar. Hello. Hello. How long has the Vogue Bar been here? Um, the Vogue Bar's been here a while. Um, me and Nick actually took it last year and um, kind of turned it around. It was always just like a small and significant bar in the middle of the port. Um, but, you know, we sort of kind of generated a bit of interest for our relationship with the promoters and things like this and the people and, you know, the kind of service that we offer from here with helping people out with their tickets and advice on where to go and what to do when they're in Ibiza town. Um, this bar kind of caters to people who want to be going out to clubs and, you know, enjoying a nightlife, as does the Rock Bar, which is um, a bit further along the port, along this way. Here is um, generally, it's, it's fairly touristic in the area, um, but you have a lot of attention because all of the clubs, they do a, um, a PR, a promotion tip. All of the dancers and the PR teams come from the clubs that here, they kind of do a show and some animation, you know, generate some interest in the particular nights. The bar circuit is very nice. It's actually up on Kaida Virgin, just before you get to all of the gay bars, it's just sort of there on its own. Um, it's a different kind of thing. It's a, it's a little bit more relaxed and a bit more ambient. Also, another really important bar, the Dome. It's very European now. Um, it's not any, any one particular set of people go there. Very trendy. Kind of pretentious, but a lot of people are into that. You know, go you always there. got to have one of them, though, haven't you? If you go there, you, you know, you get your black clothes on and just like you know, generally large. It. The Beaver Town kind of sets the trend. You know, all the other resorts, San Antonio, Playa del Boss, or whatever, they attract a certain kind of person, generally younger. Um, you know, want to come over here, get lagging drunk. I mean, do whatever they want to do. Yeah. I mean, the Beaver Town offers something a bit more trendy, a bit more exclusive, um, something a little bit more sophisticated. You know, because because of the general mix of people. It's just party day and night, isn't it really? Yeah, it's true, it's wonderful. I mean, really you still look well though, Jason. <laughs> it's externally, honestly, inside, I don't know what's going on. Pasha is one of Ibiza's original Balearic venues, usually frequented by the classy and the glamorous. A cosmopolitan mixture danced the nights away in the mystic maze of rooms. The third year running Renaissance have returned to the island with their season parties every Wednesday. But tonight, Jamboree is going to be very special as we, Club of Vision and Extravaganza Records, come together for a piece of the Balearic action. manager here at Pasha, how are you? I'm okay. Tell us a little bit of history about Pasha. Well, the site was an hacienda, a small house, and it's opened by Ricardo Hell, the owners now. Right. And it was a hippie club, more because 25 years ago, just hippie people in Ibiza. And it changed a lot because after I arrived, famous people, rich people, and Pasha, it's more like the VIP club from Ibiza. Jeff Oaks, the man behind Renaissance, what first brought you to the Balearics? Um, Curiosity, I suppose, about eight, nine years ago. Uh, like everybody else, I'd heard something crazy was going on out here. Came out and had a look, and I think they were right. We've sort of been doing parties out here for about three years, and uh, it's kind of nice to be doing parties at Pacha. Uh, it's probably the first club I ever came to on the island, and it had a really big influence on me. I think it was really sort of instrumental in me starting Renaissance and, and shaping Renaissance the way I did. Some people say the whole island's got a bit more commercial now. Do, do you feel that? Yeah, it, it has, but you only have to look at the influence it has on what happens in the UK. I mean, at the moment in the UK, all the clubs are really quiet, all the promoters are really, really moaning because yeah. the clubs are empty, um, because this place has such an influence, and no matter what anybody says to criticise it, it's a really, really important part of our industry. So I'm not laughing at you, but I'm getting tickled by the plants Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> and how's it going? All right. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Would you ever do another club on the island, if, if, if by any chance you got booted out of Pasha? Renaissance is a brand is about quality and, and we've kind of sort of over the past five years we've worked to build this aura of quality and it'd be pointless going into privilege and getting 7,000 lager louts every week. What do you think about loads of other promotions coming over and jumping
working on the bandwagon? Uh, three years ago, a lot of English promoters came over. It was our first year. We did really well. Cream did well. The ministry did well. Uh, the others kind of caught a cold a little bit. They all went home early and they didn't do very well. Yeah. Last year, they stayed away for that reason. And we all did exceptionally well because all the others weren't here. <laughs> so they heard about that and they're back again this year. And another two weeks, they'll be going home. <laughs> do you reckon? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. All right, well, I think we need to get in there and party now because it's our party as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Switzerland. We're from Sweden. Northern Ireland. I live here. I came by mistake. You know, mistake? I, yeah, and when I saw what was going on, I said, hell, I don't, I don't move from here. Is this your first time here? No, no, I come last year. Where'd you go clubbing in Ireland? Kelly's and Port Rush. What kind of state do you get in then? <laughs> messy ones, really messy states. What do, you, what do you like so much about it? The sun and the clubs and everything, you know, the guys, of course. The guys? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Around the different beaches of either town, San Antonio, Play Den Basso, Figueritas, you name it, we've been there. I love uh, <laughs> partying in Ibiza. I come in and I hear the music and my body starts moving and I can't help it <laughs> and I like it and I keep going. Do you like the music out here? Yeah, it's really good to dance. Renaissance, right? We've got 20, 20 bars, we've got three different music <laughs> rooms, we've got Club of Vision, Club of Vision, beautiful people, beautiful dancers, Danny Rampling on tonight. Ah, it was a real luxury. The music's brilliant and the atmosphere is really good, everyone's really friendly and everyone's dancing. Since 10 years I heard him the first time, I kept liking him, liking him, liking him because he's always good, he's always the best. I start university in London in September. You have some fans. Yeah, yeah I don't know, but maybe. And everybody who stays here in Ibiza says the music is good, but in Switzerland it's the best music in Zurich. In, in England there are something like one million DJs. I know. I don't. I don't know them all. Are you telling us to go home? <laughs> no, 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 no. Stay, por favor, no. no. I'm off me monger. I'm off me monger. Well, yeah, it's so expensive here. You can't afford to get drunk, so we get drunk before we come out. <laughs> What's the best club on the island? Fuck <laughs> knows. You know what is space? It's a one-way ticket to Hanoi. You don't. You go and you don't come back. Swiss girls are very shy. Yeah. Uh, Star Bar space. Yeah, Star Bar in Star San Antonio. Bar. That's where we all go afterwards to get large. Where are you going tomorrow? Amnesia, Queen. Have you been to Amnesia before? <laughs> Plenty of times in my head. So are you going to come back next year? Try to save <laughs> up, yeah. Definitely, I'd love to. You probably know him from what, what's the track called? It's uh, the biggest track at the minute. It's called El Nino. How would you describe your sound? Well, it, it's actually inspired a lot by the, the extravaganza thing and chicane, and that has right. inspired us quite a lot. There's there's me and uh, CJ CJ and Yelly, who's my partner and works in the studio with me, and uh, I, I suppose we just describe it as pumping, pumping energy, house pumping energy. What about you? Yeah, house music. You've only just landed on the island and it's your first time, isn't it? Yeah, I've never been to Ibiza before, but uh, so far I've only been to this one club and it's, it's pretty exciting. Like it's so what are your expectations then? What I've been told is just pe like people having sex and like everywhere you look, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm actually married, so I'm not, I'm not looking for any of that, but I'm looking <laughs> forward to seeing it. We have Nick Bracegirdle here. What have you been doing actually since um, the last album, Far From The Maddening Crowds? Just been doing a lot of remixes, done uh, currently uh, in RB, they've just done Jose Padilla's new single. Tell us about the new album, when's it out and what it, what's it called? And No, no title as yet, really. Um, I'm, I'm here and not, not doing it, so <laughs> I, should be, I should be in a studio somewhere. Uh, no titles yet. Um, it's just going to be a progression from the, la from the last album, really. Just a lot more vocal stuff, uh, more collaborations with uh, other artists. You know, it's a chance to actually write some real proper songs, some full-on songs, and um, that's where I'm going. Definitely something about this island that pulls you in, hook, line and sinker. Whether it's the tranquility, the hedonism, the partying or the scorching sun. In Ibiza there's something for everyone. I'm Lisa Nash and you've been watching Club of Vision on the White Island. 
And coming up on next week's show, we've got Room at the Top in Bathgate, Scotland, Bertie's in New Quay, the first ever Underground Garage Awards, Touch Magazine dance charts, and of course, loads of you lots. Like, tag, share, and subscribe. Now this is Cover Vision, and this is how it's done. This is Cover Vision, Cover Vision number one.